Today we have another different method than the previous ones, EH. First of all, as we can see our device, EH, we formatted it. Why? Because we forgot what that screen lock was. We changed the password and what we did was format it. When formatting it we were left with the same lock again. And we were left with the Google account with the Gmail account, EH. But don't worry today we are going to explain it to you step by step. How to recover your device if it has. A screen lock this also with the Gmail account. I also want to tell you that we have other methods, other methods different from this one. We have left it in the description of the video and in the first comment pinned. For those people who can also try those methods and can be updated EH2 and can recover their device because here. The main thing that we want is for you to recover your phone for. Those people who suddenly do not have a PC can do what they can. Do it from this by this means without a PC what are we going to do first of? All before starting the process we have to be connected to a Wi-Fi network. We are going to connect to a Wi-Fi network we connect now what we are going to do is wait for our device. That our device takes us to where? The screen lock is also the Google account. The Gmail account and then do the process of removing that. Screen lock also from the Google account of the account. EH we also want to tell you that we have the members community session. For those people who want to support that community since. YouTube enabled this, enabled that community. So that you can support us, since what is the benefit of that community? We will be publishing advanced videos so that you can see them uh, in advance before we publish them on YouTube in. The other thing would also be that we uh, will be aware of your comments. We will be active in answering any concerns. Now what we are going to do is click here where it says use my Google account. We are going to click here, use my Google account, it also has the screen lock. I always always recommend that when you create a Gmail, an email, an email always add a phone number. Because if we do not know the email, we know the email. We can add here a click and forget password here we will be. Able to recover it via email this via our phone. We can also recover it uh, with the alternative email it gives us too. Options via email via. Recovery email if we do not have a phone number we can recover it. Via uh, the recovery email. We also have a method also in the description of the video for PC we have a method. Previously we entered with this with this. Enable. The APC. With a single click we could do it from the APC. Now we are going to use another method. We are going to click it several times here on the screen. We click back and here it would be enabled where it says see the entire network. We now click here where it says add new network. After we are here and add new network, we are going to click here on this little nut. We are going to click here on reset and we are going to reset all this. We give the two options, we reset everything, we go back. We are going to click on this QR code that appears here. QR code here you will see this gallery option. If you do not see this gallery option we have more method also in. The description of the video if not measure the end of the video how we recover it in it. Easy. Fast and simple way, we always get to the point. We always get to the point, we are going to click here on the image. Then what you are going to do is click here and you are going 
To select one of these two options you are going to hold it. It would take you to this section, do not worry. In this section you are going to guide you step by step and you are going to give it here it says permission. Storage. Then when you give it in storage you are going to give it. Here where it says see all the permissions of the applications. Here all these applications may appear. In some cases it usually appears everything empty. If everything appears empty do not worry. We only need this magnifying glass that appears here here we are going to write Chrome. Chrome Google Chrome. If it does not appear they will delete letters until you get Google Chrome. Then what you are going to do is click here where it says open browser, you click accept. You click here where it says no thanks, after you do that. What you're going to do now is write our official page. We're going to explain how to write our official page so that it writes exactly as it appears on the screen. I'm going to show it as it appears written here. You're going to write it from Daiso, then this option will appear here Android. TV Debacell also either of the two options you go here is also the URL. Of our page you can also write it so that it takes you directly then. You're going to click on the page you're going to select the page. Some notifications will appear here you're going to click here where it says understood then you go to. The last option here you're going to be able to find this entry that says here apps device L. Applications device L. You're going to select that option. After you select that option you're going to wait for everything to load when it's all loaded. Here we also have a totally different method, totally additional. For those people if these methods don't work for you here you're going to be able to find a method for PC and without PC. We're going to go down here we're going to be able to find an application that we're going to need. We're going to go down, we're going going down. Here we go. Going down here we are going to find this application over here. We are almost there, this application in green that says shortcut. Is the one we are going to select, it has two little nuts. The little nuts are white and around them are green. We are going to click on it where it says shortcut or click on application. Then you go down, you're going to select the little nuts, here it is. Again you're going to select that little nut and it will take you. It will take you directly to the Galaxy Store, you're going to click on add. Now it's going to give you the option to download that application. You click on install, you click on install, but it's going to ask you for a Samsung account. If it does ask you for a Samsung account what you have to do is if you don't have one you have to create one on a phone that I haven't blocked you. Look for a phone that is not blocked and create a Samsung account after. Creating it you're going to add it no let's go let's select click here ok this. Let's go since it installed correctly we're going to click where it says open. We click on open here comes the easiest part now what we have to pay. Close attention to what we're going to do here we're going to click here at the bottom where it says system app. We're going to click on it, you may get an advertisement. It doesn't matter, wait, then you're going to click on the X, you click on the X, then you're going to go down and you're going to look for the application that it says. Let's look for an application below. Further down here you will find the Google Play services. Google Play, you are going to click here on the three dots. You are going to click here where it says app to this application information you are going to click here. Here it is going to give you the option this as we can see it gives us the option to deactivate. Google services here it lets us deactivate Google services yes it lets you. Deactivate Google services then what you are going to do is go. Back double click you double click back so that you don't get. Advertising then here you are going to write activity. Activity and it will appear here activity manager or manager. You are going to click, then you are going to click here where it says download. Now what you are going to do is wait for that application to download. 
When it has downloaded the application, you are going to click here on the play button. You are going to click on the play button to open which is the same. Then it will load. Then you are going to click here the magnifying glass and you are going to write W and Z. Then select here where it says Android settings. Go up. You are going to click here on this option. This little torque. I'm going to read. I don't know if it's pronounced like that. Predeferred setup wizard activity. You're going to select that one. You're going to click on it. Now it's going to load and it's going to give you. The screen is going to flash. Yes, yes, the screen does that. You're going to press the power button. Volume down button for about 7 seconds until our phone restarts. When our phone restarts, when our phone restarts. Let's wait for them to start. In some cases, it usually takes you to start and gives you access. In another case, that usually does not work for you. Then you will see the next thing that we are going to do. That is why it is always advisable to watch the video tutorial step by step so that you do not miss any of these details and you can solve the recovery of your phone. For those people who want to see or other additional different methods we have left it in the description of the video and in the first fixed comment so that they can recover it. Well now what we are going to do now is see if you still have the screen flashing then what you are going to do is press the power button volume down button at the same time when the phone turns off you are going to release the volume down hold the volume up that it's going to turn off now for the first time when it turns on for the second time and the galaxy icon appears below you're going to release the volume button power button sorry power button and you're going to let it take you to recovery mode you're going to wait for it to take us to recovery mode when it takes us to recovery mode what we're going to do is complete the deletion process account now what we're going to do is go here where it says with data factory reset with power select go down and click where it says factory data reset Click on power here and it will be resetting our phone. It will be resetting, it has already reset. Now what we're going to do is with the power button the first option that says reboot system no. This will make our phone restart, when our phone restarts. What we're going to do is wait for it to start the H. When it starts we are going to complete the process. Apparently when it starts this will not appear yet. It seems that it has the Google account. But I'm going to explain a very important step that will give you the option to access your phone without the need for well let's. Wait I'm going to pause the video since when we format our phone. This process always usually takes 2-3 to three minutes. Well it has already restarted our phone correctly. Now what we're going to do is connect to a Wi-Fi network to be able to completely eliminate our, our Google account. At this point it will not ask you for any screen lock. Now it will access what is to that account, but it will give you the option to be able to skip. I will tell you how you are going to skip that account. Now what we are going to wait is a few seconds until it takes us to the following configurations. We will wait for our device to take us, well here we are almost there. Here it will give us the option to be able to skip it, it will give you two options. It will give you two options to be able to skip what? Is that Google account, we will wait for it to load. Times when we format our phone and configure it again. It does not always take long, we click here where it says skip, we click on skip. Now it will take you here again, you click where it says do not copy. Now it will return you again where the account will appear. It will return you again, now you click here again on skip, you click on skip. Now it takes you to the Google services, it gives you more more accept. 
you click on skip, skip, you click on OK. Now you are going to wait a few more seconds. We're almost there, when it takes us. It takes us to this section, they will come out, you're going to hit skip again. Next here you're going to hit finish so you'll be able to recover your device. You'll be able to recover it, not take what is to the beginning. Ready, now what we have to do is add a new Google account. An account, a new screen lock. Everything would be totally eliminated, completely.